Probably the most amazing new feature of Photoshop Elements 2018 is how it uses the built-in content intelligence to open closed eyes with one click. Let's try it out on this photo of a young girl with her eyes closed. I recommend that you always duplicate the photo layer first in case you need to make any adjustments later on. So I'll press Ctrl J in Windows or Command J on a Mac. To access the Open Closed Eyes dialog box, in the menu bar, choose Enhance, Open Closed Eyes. Photoshop Elements identifies the face in your photo and puts a circle around it. It also provides some sample eyes you can try. Click on a thumbnail to try it. It does a great job of replacing the eyes, but they're much too made up for a little girl. So I'll click on the reset button. The most ideal situation is to choose a photo you already have of the same person without their eyes closed. To look for a photo, click on the computer or organizer icon. I'll click on a photo of the same girl and click open. Click on your photo to try it out. And that did a beautiful job of replacing her closed eyes and matching the lighting and color of her face. Click on the before and after button to compare the results. Pretty impressive. Click OK to accept the results. Here's another example of closed eyes, but this time the subject has glasses. I'll press Ctrl J in Windows or Command J on a Mac to duplicate the photo and then choose Enhance, Open Closed Eyes. Here I've already opened three photos that might make a good match for fixing his eyes. So I'll click on the first one. If I zoom in though, you can see that part of his glasses is missing. Let's try one without glasses. And that has the same problem. The third one changes his eye position, which would be okay, but it also removes some of his glasses. I'll use the first one and click OK. This is why you duplicate the layer before using the Open Closed Eyes feature. It gives you the ability to make adjustments. In the Layers panel, click on the Add Layer Mask icon. Get the Brush Tool and Open Tool Options. Choose a soft round brush from the default set of brushes. Set the opacity to 100% and the mode to normal. Make sure the foreground color chip is black. If it isn't, click on the curved double arrow to switch color chips. And then close tool options. Zoom in so you can see better. And on your document, brush over the problem area to hide the top layer and reveal the glasses on the layer below. And here is a spot also where the glasses are missing. And also, right over here, it seems a little bit odd there. So that looks much better. Here's how it looked before, and here's how it looks now. Here are my two finished photos with open eyes. It was so much easier to use open closed eyes in Photoshop Elements than doing it from scratch like I've done many times in the past. I'm Linda Sadgast with Quick Learn Photoshop Elements.